If you live in a multi-story house, your robot vacuum cleaner may be doing its job, but it can't handle stairs. And if you own a manufacturing business, you'll face a labor shortage because human labor will still be a beta product after five to seven years of work. And you might be ready to pay for a humanoid robot to solve these problems. But no, stop. Tesla only wants you to pay a quarter of the price of a humanoid robot you were planning to buy. Give Tesla's Optimus $20,000 and it'll solve all your problems in one humanoid robot. So, are you ready? Let's get into the superior functions of Tesla's Optimus in today's episode of Tesla Car World. And thank you for joining us. All right, how to be sure Tesla Bot Gen 3 comes out in 2026. Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production for Tesla internal use next year and hopefully high production for other companies in 2026. Musk said, Elon recently revealed Tesla's ready to start small-scale production of the robot, codenamed Optimus, next year and have it work at its own factories. The company has field tests of Optimus underway in gigafactories as of earlier this year, according to Tesla. The ambition is for mass manufacturing to support big corporations by 2026. Musk reiterated this timeline several times and has talked about making millions of cells in the years that follow. So, is it really priced at under $20,000 per? The idea is to make Optimus an affordable robot that can be used in multiple industries, everything from manufacturing to logistics with many steps in between. A sum of 20 grand is a competitive one relative to other robotics available today, especially considering it includes both a computer and sensors. The key for Tesla will be mass production of an Optimus at this price. Tesla's 2026 timeline for mass production also suggests that the company seeks to manage its supply chain and production costs in a more cost-effective manner over the next few years. Certainly, Elon has a history of disrupting pricing at the low end of the EV market, and lighting that candle is robotics. Musk has claimed that production of the vehicle could eventually hit 20 billion units. That number might seem astronomically high, but it alludes to the scale Tesla intends for its robots, a replacement or supplement of human labor. This is in contrast to the overall global stock of robots, estimated at only $3 million as of last year. While lucrative, the robotics industry is still only forecast to be $20 billion in a decade, an ambitious goal that would take a major change in how society integrates robots into our regular lives. Absolutely, it's being tested already in the real world by Tesla. In early 2024, another job listing for an engineering program manager role listed the need to direct field trials of Optimus in Tesla's gigafactories across multiple applications. These tests are necessary to guarantee the good performance of the robot in an industrial environment. To date, feedback from these tests is very positive with Optimus targeted at jobs such as material handling, logistics operations, and any other type of repetitive labor. Still, Tesla's relatively simple display of Optimus at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai a couple days ago didn't exactly bowl anyone over. Optimus is one of the most anticipated products this year, but like its announcement, we can be sure to see it only in a glass enclosure and not actually working in the real world. This in turn made us wonder about what the robot does and how close it is to getting deployed. Musk many times has stated interest in attracting more Tesla production workers by giving the industrial robot a test run at its own factories. Tesla envisions Optimus to be used to automate repetitive tasks in the factories, similar to industrial robots today but with more versatility thanks to its humanoid configuration. Their range of tasks could stretch from simply transporting materials to helping assemble parts, and for flexibility, humanoid robots take the cake. Tesla plans to release factory robots to outside customers after using them inside first. Optimus also has countless other prospective use cases outside factory ops. Possible customers include all the Amazon-type companies with a huge reliance on warehouses. A humanoid bot costing around 20 grand and capable of a spectrum of functions would be useful in brick-and-mortar retail establishments, healthcare facilities, and even hospitality industries. Musk has had a long-term goal of making millions of optimists and eventually scaling to tens or even hundreds of billions over the rest of this decade. That said, a more grounded expectation would indicate that hitting 20 billion units is beyond remote. To put it in context, the global population is approximately 8 billion now, so it would probably take a little while for the robots to outnumber the humans. The 20 billion unit target outlined by Elon seems to be more of an aspirational goal than a near-term forecast. Even if Tesla sold a million Optimus every year, it would take decades to reach that number. Besides, the company can't make one robot to production, so you shouldn't get your hopes up either. Alternatively, should Optimus perform to expectations, it may also reshape the global labor market and how humans and robots interact. 
What financing incentives are available for Tesla Optimus? One of the biggest surprises when Elon first unveiled Optimus was the price. Elon confirmed Tesla aims to sell Optimus for under 25 grand, half the price of a typical car. Now, we should know that some people might be thinking that $25,000 for a robot sounds like a lot, but let's consider it from a different perspective. Take the Neo 1X, one of Optimus's competitors, for instance. The average rental cost alone is between five and 10 grand a month. On the other hand, Optimus can be rented for as little as one to 3,000 a month. That's up to five times the savings right off the bat. What's even better is that Elon predicts mass production by 2026 could bring production costs down to 20 grand, meaning the price could potentially drop even further with increased manufacturing. Now, we're not saying we got $25,000 burning a hole in our pockets right this minute, but given what you're getting, it feels like a bargain in the world of cutting edge technology. One thing that always raises concern with adopting new technology are those hidden costs, charging, maintenance, all that. But that's where Tesla really shines. Optimus is powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. And to put that in perspective, if you're paying around 13 cents a kilowatt hour for electricity, a full charge for your Optimus would only cost you 30 cents. That's less than a cup of coffee. If you're using Optimus all the time, you'll be paying around nine bucks a month in charging costs. For comparison, Spot from Boston Dynamics, that's another high-tech robot, has a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery, and you'd be looking at around 56 bucks a month to keep it charged. That's six times the charging cost of Optimus. And if you're budget conscious, that's a pretty solid reason to go with Optimus over any other robot out there. So what happens if your shiny new robot breaks down or any issues arise during operations? Maintenance is always a concern, right? Especially with such high-tech equipment. Turns out Tesla's thought this through. They'll have an in-house maintenance team specially trained to handle Optimus technology. It's like having a team of techs dedicated to your robot, ready to fix any glitches that might come up. Plus, Tesla support servers will be on standby and ready to help you out, so we're pretty confident Optimus won't be left as a lonely pile of metal if something goes wrong. It's reassuring to know that there's a solid support network behind this. Sure, there may be some wear and tear, just like with any machine, but having Tesla's maintenance team on standby definitely puts my mind at ease. One of the more unusual questions we've encountered is, does a robot need insurance? Well, it turns out it actually does. Just like how you insure your car, you want to insure your Optimus, especially if you're putting it to work in any kind of commercial setting. Commercial insurance for the Tesla bot can range from 500 to 2,000 a month, depending on its use and the associated risks. This seems pretty reasonable, especially when you consider some industrial equipment and high-tech utilities carry similar insurance costs. In the grand scheme of things, insuring your robot is like insuring any other valuable tool. It's a fact that we tend to be cautious about when making big purchases. The good news is Tesla's rental program makes it easy to try out Optimus without committing to a full purchase. Rental prices range from one to 3,000 a month, depending on the model and functions you're after. Considering the bot's capabilities and the fact it's five times cheaper than running a Neo 1X, this seems like a pretty good deal. Whether you need Optimus for repetitive household tasks or to assist a small business, renting might be the best way to test it out first. Plus, no long-term commitments. There's one technical aspect we really need to dive into, and that's battery life. The 2.3 kilowatt hour battery in Optimus might be a bit small when you think about a full workday. In reality, you can actually get up to 20 hours of use before needing a recharge. Now, while that might seem limiting, if Optimus can work in shorter bursts, say helping around the house in the morning and evening, it'd be more than enough for most households. Plus, with that low charging cost of nine bucks a month, I am totally fine with recharging it daily. And it's a one size fits all situation with Optimus. Just look at Tesla's approach to cars. From the Model 3 to the Model X, they all cater to different customer needs. Optimus also comes in different versions within a single humanoid robot. One version for the house and another optimized for more complex industrial duties. It's great that Tesla is able to offer a more affordable household version for everyday users, while businesses can go with a more advanced version. Robots are complex machines, and repair costs are a major factor when considering ownership. Tesla's got the advantage here. Thanks to its modular design and Tesla's well-established supply chain, repairs are expected to be relatively affordable. Compare that to Boston Dynamics' Atlas, where repair costs can exceed hundred grand for more advanced issues. Imagine paying that much just to fix a malfunction. To put it in perspective, SoftBank Robotics Pepper has repair costs ranging from $5,000 to $20,000, which is still on the high side for a home assistant that can't even load a dishwasher. Agility Robotics Cassie could even set you back between 10 and 50 grand for repairs, mostly because of its highly sophisticated navigation and balance systems. But here's the kicker. Parts for these robots aren't always readily available, meaning you could wait weeks or even months for your robot to get back in action. 
We don't know about you, but if my home robot goes out of commission, that's not much help at all. Why is Optimus a professional homemaker? So, how can a robot cook a gourmet meal without having taste buds? Or what happens when robots start taking over the roles traditionally filled by us humans, like caregivers, housekeepers, even personal chefs? The question on everyone's mind, how does a robot like Optimus cook when it can't taste? The answer is surprisingly straightforward, precision. While Optimus doesn't have taste buds, it does have sensors that measure everything from temperature to moisture. For example, the robot can ensure that your steaks cook to the perfect medium rare by using precise temperature control. According to food scientists, a few degrees of difference can change the entire taste profile of a dish. Optimus doesn't need a tongue, it just needs data. But what about seasoning? Sure, humans can rely on taste buds to decide when to add more salt, but Optimus relies on recipes and ingredient databases. Algorithms can easily calculate the right amount of salt, pepper, or herbs based on the weight and moisture content of the dish. For instance, recipes could be pre-programmed into its system, much like how chefs follow precise measurements. Plus, it can adjust recipes based on user preferences, dietary restrictions, and nutritional goals. You want your pasta gluten-free, low carb, and with extra garlic? Optimus will whip that up for you like a personal chef that never gets tired. In fact, Tesla Bot Gen 3 is even more impressive because it can learn from cooking tutorials on YouTube. Imagine your robot binge-watching Gordon Ramsay videos to perfect its sautéing. This isn't just sci-fi fluff. AI and machine learning are capable of analyzing complex tasks like chopping, flipping, and timing everything perfectly. Advanced robots in industries like manufacturing already handle more complex processes than making a souffle. And let's face it, most of us are probably going to burn that souffle anyway. While cooking is just one of Optimus's talents, it excels at multitasking. You know how sometimes you're boiling pasta while trying to keep an eye on the roast in the oven? Optimus is able to handle multiple tasks at the same time. Think boiling, sautéing, even prepping ingredients, all while minimizing wait times. It even syncs with your smart oven or smart fridge. Based on real-time ingredient freshness, it can adjust cooking times. So if those tomatoes in the fridge are about to go bad, Optimus will prioritize using them before they're wasted. According to industry reports, kitchen robots could reduce food waste by up to 30%, making smarter decisions with ingredients. Who knew AI could be so eco-friendly? And don't worry, Optimus isn't just a glorified sous chef. It can prepare complex dishes like gourmet risottos and even bake intricate desserts thanks to its ability to follow precise timing and temperature guidelines. It can even tailor meals based on your family's specific preferences. Say goodbye to frozen TV dinners and hello to restaurant quality meals every night. When it comes to childcare, I do hear your skepticism. Can I really trust a robot with my kids? But let's face it. Optimus may actually be safer than some human babysitters out there. First, it doesn't get tired, frustrated, or distracted by texts on social media. Second, it can be programmed to follow strict safety protocols. Tesla's safety systems are already known to be 10 times safer than the average human drivers in their cars. They'll likely ensure Optimus is just as reliable when interacting with our kids and pets. In fact, 32% of men might decide they no longer even need to marry for household help. Jokes aside, Optimus could easily take care of chores like cleaning, laundry, and even childcare. The childcare variant of Optimus could function as a tutor as well. Imagine your kids having access to an AI tutor at home who can teach them math, history, even piano without ever needing a coffee break. According to research, children taught by AI tutors show a 20-30% to 30 improvement in learning retention largely because these systems can adapt to each child's unique learning style. Having a robot like Optimus isn't just about convenience, it's about well-being. For families with elderly members, Optimus offers an elder care version designed specifically for assisting with daily tasks. It's equipped to help with mobility support, medication reminders, and even emergency health checks. According to industry data, assistive technologies for the elderly can reduce falls and accidents by 40%, making Optimus not just convenient, but potentially life-saving. Plus, there's the hygiene factor. Humans carry germs, but Optimus, not so much. Its waterproof design means it can wash and disinfect its own hands. No germs, no viruses. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing the robot can help your sick child or elderly parents is always sanitized. Studies show that robots in healthcare settings can reduce infection rates by up to 70%. And there's no reason Optimus can't do the same at home. So, how does Optimus integrate with other Tesla products? Optimus is designed to integrate with smart home devices via the Matter protocol, which is expected to encompass 300 million devices next year. Imagine coming home in your Tesla and using voice commands to have Optimus adjust the thermostat, dim the lights, even start making coffee all before you walk through the door. 
As smart home technology becomes increasingly prevalent, Optimus will ensure you're at the forefront of this trend. In addition to smart home connectivity, Optimus optimizes energy management within your household. Tesla solar products generate an average of 20 kilowatt hours a day, depending on location and system size. Optimus can schedule high energy tasks like cooking or laundry to occur during peak solar generation times, helping you cut your energy costs. Tesla vehicles are renowned for their over the air updates and cutting edge autonomous driving capabilities, having collected over a billion and a half miles of driving data as of second quarter last year. Optimus takes this integration a step further by making meals or completing other tasks while you're on the road. You'll get a notification through your Tesla app when dinner is ready, making mealtime planning a breeze. This type of vehicle integration ensures that you can maximize your time and enjoy a well-cooked meal when you get home. So, what do you think about this Optimus Gen 3? We would be happy if you left your comments about this. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this. And if you did, hit that like button and join the Tesla car world community by subbing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic vids coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.